So today we're with Mike Pratt, CEO of Orda. Um, so you just want to tell people what you do um, for Orda, like what Orda's mission is? Okay, well I'm the uh, president and CEO. Uh, Orda is the uh, Olympic Regional Development Authority. Uh, we're a state authority. Uh, we've been around since 1982. We were charged with taking care of the uh, Olympic ven venues and uh, operating and hosting international training and events as well as uh, the recreational opportunities. And we also operate uh, ski areas at uh, Whiteface, Gore, and Bel Air. Awesome, okay, so how, how ha have you um, seen the Adirondacks? You've been here your whole life in the Adirondacks. So how have you seen the Adirondacks change um, as far as climate change is concerned? Well, well cer certainly it's been very dramatic. Um, you know, when I was a child, there were many outdoor skating rinks and um, seemed to be a lot more snowfall, maybe I was shorter then, but I remember building, uh, uh, you know, igloos and snow forts that uh, are more difficult to build now. Um, hey, you know, and, and with the Olympic Authority, uh, um, you know, with all our winter sports that we uh, host and participate in, we, we, have, we have to rely on making more snow, uh, refrigerated ice surfaces and, um, and rely on uh, uh, technology to try to be as efficient as possible. Okay, um, and obviously that has, if more, if less people are coming to Gore, Whiteface, or if the season's shorter, that must have some kind of economic impact for the region, not just, not just Orta, but the well, whole. Well, certainly the, uh, you know, the tourism industry, recreational industry are very powerful in the Adirondacks, and, and uh, you know, we're, we're one of the key uh, destination drivers for the Adirondacks and the Catskills with Bel Air. Um, you, know, you know, our business, the, the skiers, uh, um, you know, we, whether it's a pass holder or core participant or just a day tripper and beginner, uh, um, they're spending money in the community and uh, with all our events, whether it's the uh, uh, delegations, the competitors, the athletes, uh, um, or, or the spectators, everybody has a piece of the economic puzzle. Yeah. So I, we were talking before about the Nordic Festival that was canceled for this weekend. Obviously, partially because of the coronavirus, but you said um, because of the uh, yeah, it's been a very conditions. very weak uh, natural snowfall year, and and uh, the, the festival this weekend is uh, more traditional with long courses that rather than. Uh, um, short concentrated uh, laps of uh, Nordic ski and so, so we canceled the event. Are you worried about that happening more in the future or do you think that we all have enough technology at that point to somehow make those events run? Well, well, well the, the sports are evolving and uh, uh, Nordic skiing in particular is doing a lot of evolving where most of the events now that are and certainly the competitions are more concentrated with shorter loops and we have snow making on those portions of the trails. It's the, uh, the touring style that's gonna be a challenge. Okay, and then, so lastly, how does Orta see itself um, like managing all this going forward in the future? Well, well um, it, you know, with, with snow making, um, as I said, we've embraced technology uh, the new systems, new technology, uh, snow guns uh, um, have allowed us to make the same amount of snow quicker. So, so that has actually allowed us to become more efficient and reduce our energy costs uh, annually. Um, it, you know, even though it's a quick concentration of high demand, we, uh, um, it's not drawn out and it's less cumulative energy than uh, uh, the way that it used to be. So, so uh, we've also modernized drives on uh, pumps, on compressors, on chairlifts um, in our buildings. Um, you know, certainly uh, trying to insulate everything, use modern windows, LED lights, uh, uh, control systems, uh, um, automatic, uh, um, on off lights with motion detectors and, and uh, control systems for th uh, thermostats and stuff like that. So, so, so we're very cognizant of uh, energy, of our impact on the environment, and we try to be as efficient as we can. Yeah, awesome. And I, you said before you guys were um, remodeling or developing this building. Um, 
Right. So are you going to take into account, or like how do you guys plan to take into account building it? Like is there going to be a lead certification? Yeah, uh, this building, the conference center that we're in is a gold lead building. Uh, being in December, the Olympic region was named uh, a lead gold community. That's awesome. And yeah. uh, there were four partners in that, the Olympic Authority, uh, the Lake Placid Central School, the town of North Elba, and the village of Lake Placid. And we're very proud of that. Uh, we've won uh, uh, international environmental awards at Gore Mountain and at Whiteface Mountain. Um, we have 5.3 megawatts of solar for Gore. We have 2.6 megawatts for Whiteface. Uh, we're doing uh, a lot of uh, green energy at Bel Air and uh, um, trying to evolve everything we do to, uh, to have considerations of the environment and making us more sustainable. And in fact, we have a, a sustainability officer in our organization whose That's name great. is Emma Lamy. Oh, nice. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's a great organization. It's good to see you guys are doing a lot of fun. Well, thank you. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah.